Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful blue Momofuku birthday cake. Let's get right to it and we're going to start with the crumble. So just go ahead and toss all your dry ingredients into a mixer. So that's white sugar, brown sugar, a little baking powder, and a pinch of salt. And give that a good mix. Don't forget the flour. <laughs> Now to get this beautiful blue color, what you're going to want to do is mix your vegetable oil, vanilla, and your blue dye in one container. Give it a good mix and then add it in. This way you can make sure that the color is evenly distributed. So I've made this recipe about three or four times before um, and I always use cake flour, but this time I decided I wanted to go ahead and use standard flour. Um, and one thing I did notice is that as you can see, the cake crumbles did not form on their own. So that is just one thing I want to add. I did have to end up hand forming them, but they tasted exactly the same. I personally find cake flour a little dry, so I wanted to use standard flour and see how it turned out. So the assembly of this cake is really easy. What you're going to want to do is go ahead, just put some buttercream down on your cake board. Put your first layer of cake on and then give it a good soak with some milk and vanilla just to keep those layers nice and moist. Now just place your cake color over the first layer of cake and go ahead and start filling it in with your buttercream and cake crumble. This cake color is going to ensure that all of our layers stay together. If you're wondering where I got this cake color from, I will link it below. It's just from Amazon. I think it was like $14 and it's a pretty good size roll. So the rest of this cake is pretty straightforward. You're just going to want to put another layer of cake, more of that milk soak, and then more cake crumble and additional buttercream on top. So we can't forget the buttercream on top of the crumble because this is what anchors down the next layer. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be coming out with another cake video next week as requested by you. Just want to note the reason why I didn't show on how to actually do the cake part is because it's pretty straightforward and honestly I think you can use whatever sort of cake flavor you like or you'd want. It's just really the structure of the cake which gives it that, you know, birthday cake quintessential mumufuku look. When it comes to the final layer at the top, just try to get that buttercream as smooth as possible. As you can see, I used a little uh, bent spoon. Uh, which really helped to smooth the buttercream on. And then go ahead and decorate it as you want. Um, I just used some sprinkles and then topped with cake crumbs. If you guys have any questions regarding how I bake this cake or any other questions for the assembly, please leave your comments below and I'll be sure to answer. Once you are done decorating, just go ahead and cover it with a little saran wrap and then pop it into the fridge for about four to six hours. So this is the final product guys, really happy with the way it turned out and it tasted great. Please leave your comments below and stay tuned for more videos. 